In this episode, we're talking about the top three tech items you need in your Airbnb for 2021, moving into 2022. Vacation Rental Machine helps hosts just like you learn how to start, grow, and scale your short-term rental business. This show is all about creating systems that help you automate your business, giving you more time and money freedom. If you're ready to start living the vacation rental life, then subscribe to this podcast today. Come and join us on our Facebook group, The Host Nation, where we'll be talking about starting, automating, and scaling a short-term rental business. Now, on to the show. Welcome back, Host Nation. I am John Bell, and I am solo again today. And I wanted to bring up some of the top items that I see that are missing from most Airbnbs, starting with everything that we kind of just didn't do in the year 2020. But there are certain things that have changed that we need to include. And this is definitely a tidbit into what we need to think about as far as moving towards the future and making sure that our guests are going to be happy because these products are no longer super expensive. We need to just have them because they have made themselves very important into our own homes. What are some of those items? All right. At the bottom of the list, I'm going to start off with number three. That is going to be an air fryer. Of course, some of you guys are looking at me right now thinking like an air fryer, but I mean, not everybody. Yes, people use air fryers, but air fryers nowadays actually double as a toaster oven, as another secondary oven. Uh, It replaces multiple appliances and it adds that added convenience of air frying. If you guys remember the episode in Back to the Future where the guy put in his little pizza into the oven and then it became a big pizza after being dropped off, I believe, by Domino's. Well, that to me is what an air fryer is starting to do. Air fryers, if you don't know, They cook stuff really quick and it's like frying without the grease. Definitely one of those touches that when I had it in an Airbnb after a recent trip, I was like, oh my God, I got to put this into my units just because it is that convenient. It's probably the only appliance that I would say that can get multiple use because I'm not necessarily baking anything in the oven. I'm not necessarily going to cook every night, but If I had an air fryer, that makes it super quick. I could really enjoy my stay. All right. So number two on the list is going to be a strong network, which might mean you need a mesh device to spread out this network across whatever place you're listing. Of course, if you're listing an apartment, you might not necessarily need a mesh device to kind of extend that network. But if you're listing a home or you have multiple apartments in the same building and you're trying to share the same Wi-Fi, you need a mesh network to spread that out because I should be able to be on a conference call at the same time the other people in the house are on a conference call without feeling like, hey, I'm hitting a dead zone just because I'm trying to get space to carry out my calls. So a mesh network is one of those things that's going to help this out. We can't just be tied to a desk anymore. We want freedom. We want to go outside. It's warm. We've been locked in the house for too long. We want to get out. Mesh networks. We need those. What is the number one thing? I know you guys are waiting for it. The number one thing is going to be some type of USB charging device or better yet, a wireless charging device in multiple locations within the home. We all use wireless charging devices at this point. We have come accustomed to just being able to touch our phone down and things get charged up and we can pick it back up without worrying about cords and bringing cords. Well, we need that same experience for our guests to come and just, hey, charge right here. It doesn't have to be all over the house, but it should be a central location that can possibly charge multiple phones, whether it's somewhere close to the TV in the living room where everybody's going to kind of gather. They can charge their device and not have to worry about the cords or by the beds. We all set our phones down at night. We either plug them in, but if we don't have to plug them in and we can charge them wirelessly, that's what everybody's doing. That's what we need to provide for our guests. Question of the day, what did you guys think about that top three list? Is there something that I forgot? How do you feel about adding these things to your units? Leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, Host Nation, happy hosting. Hey, Host Nation, would you like to work directly with Julian and I to help you start and scale your own short-term rental business? Go to shorttermsage.com forward slash coaching to attend our step-by-step training and learn how we can work together. 
Looking forward to talking to you soon. Hope you hosts found value in this episode. If you did, please go on over to iTunes and leave us a review as that would greatly support the show. If you'd like to connect with John, the community, and I, then go on over to our Facebook group, The Host Nation. Talk to you hosts in the next episode. Keep on hosting.